a big headache in any SEO campaign is tracking your performance. Uh, are you gaining keywords, losing keywords, um, gaining traffic, losing traffic over time? Uh, are the keywords that you have rising in rank or falling in rank? Um, this template uses SEMrush data to answer some of those basic questions about what's happening with the SEO picture on a site. Um, so what it basically does is uses some custom app script code that I use for all of the templates on Coding is for Losers um, to pull in SEMrush rankings data and kind of transition data. So whether keywords are rising, falling, new or lost um, for a site using the SEMrush API. Um, and yeah, does some, does some basic processing to build charts for you in terms of like your, your overall um, performance. So kind of like, you know, client dashboard reporting and also builds a, a little query window here where you can just delete these, it's old, where you can query out all of your landing page URL combos or just landing pages and look at their average position um, and just what's kind of what's happening with them. Look at all of your rising or falling keywords and, and produce some basic reporting about what's happening on this site that you're working on. So first thing to do to get set up is um, you need an SEMrush API key. So there's a couple links in here that you can use um, either to find it if you already have one, let me zoom in a little bit here, or to grab one using the, the Rank Tank $15 per month API special. Um, I didn't mention this, but this template is strictly uh, published in the Rank Tank Pro membership site, which is a $99 a month membership site for SEOs um, with all of the best content from Coding is for Losers and Rank Tank for these, these kind of very specific SEO templates. Um, so once you have your SEMrush API key, all you need to do is pull in data again, pull in data. Um, so you can do this by setting your domain that you'd like to look at, setting your API key here. Mine's redacted, so, so people don't go using my API key. Um, select the database you want to look at. So whether it's US, UK, Canada, any other country that um, SEMrush supports. Um, but once you have those set up, you can just click get SEMrush keyword data. It will ask for your permission to run going to give it permission and what it will basically do is um, spit all of the SEMrush data into this SEMrush monthly tab so you'll see it populating uh, total keywords keywords rising keywords falling all of this good stuff and what we can do now is basically look at a specific month. So if we wanted to look at, let's say, let's look at June. Um, and we just want to look at overall keywords. So all the keywords that we have in June. Since I had that, that view limit set to five, all we see is the kind of the top five keywords for uh, coding is for losers. If we want to look at, let's say, let's look at rising keywords. See multiple lookup going from going up to 33 and falling keywords. Google Sheets functions, we look multiple sheets. So we can just use this kind of browser to surf through any of the keywords um, that the site is ranking for. And similarly here, we can do the same thing for just URL and keyword combinations, this, this table kind of spits out a total progress by month. So if we had more months in here than, than just June, it would spit them out to the right here. And we could, we could look at overall progress. And again, if we wanted to look, if we wanted to just filter out, let's see, filter out just a keyword like sheets. Um, this would have any of our Google Sheets keywords here. 
So you can kind of use these filters and use these date ranges and the transition types to kind of surf your, your overall keyword progress data. And then this chart, this uh, tab progress by month just has some basic, um, basic data here on count of keywords falling, uh, overall and rising, the sum of traffic, traffic weighted ranks. Um, you'll notice I don't have any keywords, I don't have any keywords um, gained or lost here. So this data looks a little bit goofy. But that's really the, the essence of the template. It pulls in uh, raw SEMrush data using App Script, um, and then allows you to visualize it in a few different ways. Um, and anytime, anytime you update the data from this template, um, it will add to these charts because the, the data is tagged automatically. So you don't need to worry about that. All you need to go, go in once a month or so and rerun this for the campaign. So I hope that's helpful. Like I said, you can, you can grab this from Rank Tank Pro. Um, it's part of the membership site there. So I hope you enjoy it.